Uh, there is a port in the game where you need to access a video, so hopefully, it's, I'm sure you all have phones. Everyone's susceptible to misinformation. It doesn't matter which political affiliation you are. It doesn't matter what your age is. We what we call it is a K1 to K99 problem. But yeah, look at that. Letters. Everything else is good on there except for that number one. So it number does take one. it the second letter of the last one. From the the thing about this is just was tripping, tripping me out because uh, it feels how old? These sunglasses. How about these sunglasses? Yeah. Sunglasses. Yeah. But what we haven't done a good enough job with, I think, in the education system, or we can at least always get better at, is teaching them to be critical thinkers when they see this, but also not to be so cynical of everything they see that they're not believing anything. So we have this fine line that we try to, to walk. We're not done. But wait, we need to make sure this is right. Please make sure these are right. No, we no, 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 wait, no, we don't we have these days, there's a lot of uh, social media around, especially with kids in high school and, and younger. Um, and there's a lot of information that you can see and learn about really quickly. And so I think it's really good for these types of conventions to happen so that kids can learn um, not only how to, um, how to uh, prevent the spread of misinformation, but also how to teach uh, older family members that may have a harder time uh, as well about how to prevent the spread of misinformation. I'd like to see, I think that maybe like a class, uh, like a semester long class starting in middle school, just devoted to um, teaching kids techniques um, and skills about finding misinformation would be good. But I also think a main thing is just incorporating it more into classes that already exist. Um, but what that kind of generally means for you guys is that everyone's for you page is slightly different, you're getting different views, and some people probably very particular. So unlike a lot of the other services, Like I remember back in the day when we would call young people the digital natives, right? That we didn't need to uh, teach them because they could figure it out because they were somehow born into this space and so they'd be able to figure it out. Well, that didn't really pan out. We st still need education in this space. I think to spend your time watching, what do you think is good enough to share with others? All of mind. Do you, do you feel like this is rings true for you? Do you feel like your TikTok page knows who you are? Someone's shaking their head, doesn't know you at all. And if we don't solve this issue, if we, don't, if we can't all agree on basic facts, we can't come to solutions. We can't solve big problems. And one thing that's, in, in, that's an impediment to our politics, to any sort of policy making, is people aren't even agreeing on basic facts. So we need to get to a space where we can all agree on basic facts, and then we can decide what the best way going forward is.